Mmm, they look yummy, don't they? I wouldn't eat these berries. This is Aurelia spinosa, and those berries are better used for ink than food. Now, I do know that I've seen the guy eat a small handful of these. Best of my knowledge, he didn't suffer any, but uh, all the guidebooks list the berries as poison, so I wouldn't eat these. And I did want to show the leaves here. It's a compound leaf. You can see the, the uh, petiole right there coming off the twig. And then it's opposite in the sea. This one has one, two, three, four, five pairs of leaves. And I also want you to see the pattern two, three, two, three. The key identifying feature to this wild plant, there's another one here behind me. Some of the berries are going, the, the birds eat the berries. Doesn't seem to bother the birds, but since I'm not a bird, I'll leave them alone. I wanted to show you these wicked, wicked spikes, these thorns. Now this is actually a member of the ginseng family. And there are some, for, for those who, who've studied and looked into the things and are comfortable with it, that there are some um, medicinal qualities to the plant. Again, this is a situation where I expect everybody to do their own research. I would not try to use it unless I had some formal training. In fact, I have never used this. Uh, but down in here, you can see how the goes all the way to the bottom. And uh, the root is the medicinal part, as is the inner, inner bark. But again, it's not something that I've messed with, so I stay away from it and, until I've talked to a few people who have. This is Aurelia spinosa. The other name for it is Devil's Walking Stick. And these spiny spirals will let you know why. Now, it does have some non-medicinal, non-food uses. Uh, back in the early days of aviation, the wood was used for a substitute for balsa wood. It's lightweight, it's strong when processed correctly. And, and these spines I wanted to show you. Um, again, I'm out at uh, Salmon Run near Summersville Lake and near the road. But these spines right here, going this way, yeah, they're going to hurt, but this way, they're very brittle. They come off pretty easy. Uh, I suspect this might make a good hand drill, maybe a good bow drill. The wood is normally straight green, but you can't find a very good strong shaft, or excuse me, straight shaft. And this one's kind of bent over and crooked where it's had such a rough life here. They, re they coppice well. Uh, when you cut these down year after year, they tend to grow back straighter and straighter. Now, once they start getting weight on them, yeah, they bend over. But if you can catch them in that good in-between time, it's good straight shafts, good for spears, atlatl darts, um, just very different things. But guys, that's really a Spinosa. Thanks for watching Mr. Bud's Backwoods, and you have a great day. Okay, guys. After about a half hour drive and side trip up in the mountains, uh, here's an example of the Aurelia spinosa. Well, I was talking about it coppices as well. See how straight that, that is? I mean, it's got some crooks to it, but uh, wouldn't be too hard to take that out. See another little one there behind it. And uh, that's a yellow poplar. Also a nice straight tree. Good for hand drills. Here's a dead uh, Aurelia spinosa right here. I don't know, again, I don't know if the spikes are coming out. Uh, we call it devil's walking stick. Some people call it a Hercules club, but there's a southern species, uh, another plant that's called a Hercules club that has some medicinal properties to it. And as far as I know, it's not poisonous. But. 
the dead stalks tend to tend to stay upright and dry out really good so again when you're looking for your hand drills or bow drills or uh, even just a narrow shaft or a atlatl shaft the wood used to be used as balsa wood so that's another good possibility for you